you, you always want to think about it as that carbohydrates, gluco, excess glucose is toxic. If the blood level is high, you'll damage basically every tissue from your eyes to your toes. Yep. <laughs> and so you have to dispose of the glucose. So Hellerstein's, what he showed was that if you have a diet that say, say the American diet, 50% carbs, 35% fat, and you take in um, a thousand calorie meal uh, or 800 calorie meal, which one are you gonna put into fat quickest? You're gonna put in the easiest one, the one that's already fat. Yep. And so the carbohydrate's gonna get burned and the fat's gonna go to fat. It's just simply the body is selecting the easiest pathway. But if you switch that, and Jules Hirsch did it, and then, and then Jeff Volek did it later, if you switch that to a 80% carb, 10%, then you'll see that de novo liposynthesis. And one of the interesting things out of it is when the body makes fat, the only thing it can make is saturated fat. Yeah, so we have a lot of saturated fat in the blood that actually doesn't come from eating fat, it comes from eating carbs. important for people to realize we burn around 100 calories per hour. That would be 2,400 calories per day. So 100 calories per hour uh, in a two hour period, you're only burning 200 calories. So everything else has to be stored. That takes us into a protein discussion and I would say absolutely not. <laughs> um, the mm. two, two angles to that. One was there was a theory back when I was early in my career, back in the mid 80s by Gil Lavelle. And he was arguing that lots of small meals was good for uh, less fat deposition. And it was an artifact of how he did the study. We ran, he did it with animals and basically showed that when you made the adaptation to lots of small meals, uh, the animals didn't gain as much as if you uh, adapted them to like two meals per day. But the artifact was when you adapt an animal to two meals per day, they go through a starvation period because they'd have to learn to do it. And when you come out of a starvation period, you're making more fat. Mm. So we redid it with a longer adaptation period. And what we found was that um, reducing the number of meals per day actually is thermogenically advantageous. You actually waste more calories. annotated, and summarized. Easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.